Hello YouTube, I haven't, the reason I haven't posted it in a while is because I've been busy but um, I just noticed something on, on the BBC News uh, channel on YouTube basically Boris Johnson has blamed the schools reopening because obviously there's, there's been a spike in COVID-19 infection rate, right? Wasn't he who said Oh, we need to get kids back into school because they're missing the, out on the edu education. Yeah. The reason why there's a spike is because of what you said, Boris. You always say, oh, we need to get kids back into school. We need to get people back into work. Yeah? Look what's happened. There's been a spike in cases. Yeah. I wonder whose fault that is, Boris. You have... Fucked this country up so fucking badly. You're trying to fucking blame other things now. You're trying to blame other people for your mistakes. You have... You've done 12 U-turns since this began. First there was the U-turn about wearing face masks. And now you decided to blame kids who are in schools for this sudden spike. So like Ed Miliband said, it's, it's time that you, need, you took responsibility. Oh, wait, sorry, you, you don't do that. You, ha you have broken international law with this whole Brexit thing that you've done. If you go through with this, the EU will take us to court for what you've done. You have fucked this country up. You have balls up every, th every chance you've got to make, make a good decision, but no. It's like one day it's one, some one day it's something, and then the next day you change your mind, and then you say, "Oh, we're going to do something else now." I'm getting sick and tired of you. Every time when something goes wrong, you try to blame someone else. First it was care homes, now it's kids in school. You're an idiot. You're one of the biggest idiots around. I don't care if people are going to say, oh, how can you say this about, about, about our government? I'll, even, his, even his own party is getting annoyed with him. He's, he's made U-turn after U-turn, and now he's trying to get out of it. He's, I don't know why he's in power still. Oh, speaking of which, Dominic Cummings has done that, that, that uh, trip that he's done last time, the one who went to the, that castle. Yeah, he's done it again. Yeah, the Met Office ain't looking into it. It's true what I said. It's like one rule for us and one rule for them. And I'm getting sick of it. I hope that people will start to realise what Boris Johnson is doing because it's, it's, it's stupid. He needs to stop this. He needs to stop blaming others for his mistakes. Thank fuck I didn't vote Tory. Because I like how people say, oh, Boris would be a great Prime Minister. Yeah. I wouldn't say so. Look how he's under the situation in the world. It's like Donald Trump. It, this, was, this was a test to help... The, the United States. Yeah? He failed miserably. And so has Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson has balls up in the biggest way possible. He's trying to... Uh, what's the saying? That's, he, he's trying to cover his own arse. He's trying, to cover, he's trying to cover up any mistakes that he's made by blaming others. I hope that when there's a new election, I hope we get him out and go back to Labour because this Prime Minister is, is, is it, I want, I want to really swear, but I can't, I don't want to, that's, that's how angry I am, I want to swear, but I don't want to, so I want all of you to wake up and realise of what Boris is doing, maybe some people have, have Twigged on. Others, not so likely. Anyway, that's what I just wanted to get off my chest.
Thanks for watching.